Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video review, I want to talk about some of the support levels that we should be watching out for this week. Uh, some of the levels in general. Um, I will talk about some of the resistance level, but I I want to cover some of the support level because this is the um, this is kind of the feeling I had when we had the initial bounce um, earlier in into the weekend. Um, it looked like you know we are getting that kind of almost like a dead cat bounce and I had a feeling that a lot of people were coming in to make a like a short-term trade at that level and they were just planning to either take the quick profits or weren't really trusting it to last pretty long into a trend um, so I want to talk about those things uh, watching some football here so <laughs> I thought it might be a good time to just um, look at the market as well and uh, just give you my thoughts on it and basically right now and I, I'm gonna cover Bitcoin right now just because I uh, will talk about Litecoin and Ethereum in a bit uh, but for majority of the video I want to talk about Bitcoin uh, just because um, if you were to get out of this downward momentum or downward trend Bitcoin will be leading us out of it okay that's just how it's going to pan out. It's not going to be Bitcoin going to sit at 8,000 and you're going to see a new high uh, for all the altcoins or um, uh, like Ethereum or Litecoin. That's just not going to happen. So we have to, Bitcoin is kind of like a uh, <laughs> queen bee, if you will. Um, and it's it just needs to get out of this uh, downward momentum. So let's take a look at it. Um, let's talk about a bigger picture first of all so in the daily uh, if you look at the daily chart I will quickly walk you through on it so we had an initial spike uh, breakout in around um, December sorry November time frame uh, a huge bull run into December a minor pullback and then all-time high uh, into December at 20,000 okay and since then we're gradually like you know just pulling back try to make some run on it pulled back 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 all right and now we are uh, we broke that major trend line that was coming all the way from November and now we are um, uh, sitting into this turning into a falling wedge action if you see that um, in the pink resistance on the upper trend in the lower trend um, so it's falling wedge right now uh, since we bro broke out of this downtrend and the first level of support was is right around 8000 level uh, currently we are almost sitting on it um, so let's take a look at the four hours okay so four hours uh, it's we are sitting right at the support level of 8000 I mean, uh, you can call it 7,980 or something, but it's right around 8,000 level. Um, then the second support that we should be watching out for is right around, uh, there's a one at 7,500. Then there's one around seven thousand six thousand nine hundred fifty and then six thousand two hundred all right so those are the support level we have for Bitcoin on the downside now certain things that you want to watch out for is um, the MACD has a divergence in a, in a uh, with the price action so it's making a new lows but the MACDs are not making new, new lows so those those are a good positive signs there's a divergence in MACD second thing is uh, we need to really uh, really need to hold the support of 8000 if we don't hold the support of 8000 by tomorrow morning and if we cannot get out of this 8000 we are going to definitely see this 7500 mark 
an intermediate in uh, probably by next week just because I, I have a feeling the bulls are very nervous right now they don't want to keep their position for longer uh, than they have to and they might just come back in to the market at a favorable price point so that's what I think that if we cannot hold this support right now around 8,000 into the morning uh, there could be a push down all the way up to 7,500 um, to retest, the, retest those lows from uh, two days ago um, and that's that's just like you know it's it's pretty much people who got into the trade around that price um, to see if they can get some money out of it in few uh, quick day trades or you know just a couple of day trade but uh, they might get out if the if the if the support of around 8000 might break if it breaks and they will probably try to get back in at 7500 uh, level so that's what I think right now um, overall market again Litecoin I will quickly call Litecoin right now so let's see okay so Litecoin obviously with uh, light pay and all that the new things coming up they are looking very bullish um, the chart overall is looking it's it's holding right at the trend line so that's a good thing it tried to break that upward resistance trend line but did not work if you can let me blow, blow this in <clears throat> okay so if you see that they try to break that upward um, trend line pierced that but it did not follow through and sold off today okay so Litecoin um, it, it's it is a little bullish I mean it is sitting pretty nice with all the uh, good fundamental news uh, so it does have uh, some backing fundamental backing right now it's sitting that's why it's sitting nicely a little bit bullish than the ethereum or um, or Bitcoin okay uh, so that's pretty much it uh, keep your eye on Bitcoin as I mentioned you know that's gonna be the Queen B it's going to really dictate how fast we get out of this downtrend and it really is going to dictate if it's gonna the next leg gonna be a significant up leg or is it gonna be we're gonna test those new lows all right so as I mentioned the, for the downside um, the price level we talked about right now we're sitting at 8000 the next one is around 7500 then around 6900 and then around uh, 6200 so those are the support levels we will cover the resistance level but for the resistance for intermediate is going to be right around uh, 80 84 8450 and then around 9000 uh, for the resistance on the upside uh, but it's very crucial that it really holds the 8000 level tonight into tomorrow uh, in order to have a uh, getting out of this channel but it really we really need to <laughs> hold that bounce uh, so let's see if we can if the bulls can hold that bounce tonight and to ne early next week and we will go from there all right so guys let me know if you what do you guys think about the about the like you know just general trend of the Bitcoin do you guys think it's gonna make new lows do you guys think we have seen the lows and it's ready to bounce back uh, post it in the comment I usually reply to those comments within like few minutes uh, so yeah please post it in the comment and we can definitely chat about that on, on the comment section all right so if you think you like this video if you want to see more of this uh, please subscribe to the channel please hit those bell icons hit those like buttons and I will make more content for you all right thank you